Here's an American lawnmower company, Rotary Lawnmower. Pretty old machine, but it sees a lot of action. When these blades are sharp, they cut better than a regular lawnmower. And you don't need that fancy membership to the gym. That clicking sound that you hear is every blade self sharpening itself. The more you cut, the more it sharpens. These blades on this mower are actually cutting the grass, not shearing it like a normal lawnmower. If you've got enough patience, your lawn will actually look better with this lawnmower than your other one. So you're probably wondering, what's the maintenance on a machine like this? From time to time, you need to take a little bit of motor oil and just squirt it on. 10W30, 5W30, 0W30. And today, we're putting old transmission fluid on it. But that's all it takes to keep it running. You don't have to change the spark plug or adjust the valve lash on the valves. It's always sitting there ready for action. You can see it's doing a nice job. And I like that you don't even need earmuffs. Now this grass is a little long. You'd like to cut it before it gets this high. With enough momentum, it'll stop. For a city house, this would be perfect. If you're out in the country, you're gonna stay in good shape. We use this one just on the front yard. And here's our Honda. It'll make plenty of mulch for the garden. When you get the grass before it goes to seed, it's perfect for the garden. As you can see by the lawn, there are no chemicals in the grass. With free range chickens, you can't have chemicals. Now we do have a simpler lawn mower. That dirty solar panel soaks up the sun and you can hook up an old car battery to this one. The rain will clean up this solar panel and charge this battery. And of course, there's the experimental mower. Heard a lot of people talking about vapor carburetors, so I made one. And they absolutely work. There's a lot of adjusting that you have to do. This one uses the exhaust to bubble the fuel and push the fuel right into the engine. I could talk about this one on another day. Now we've got a couple more lawnmowers and they are a couple generations old. My kids and I, we've been looking at these and we want to pull these off the wall. We've got a curved scythe. I think that's how you pronounce it. And a straight one. I don't know much about them, but we will. People are always saying, that's old technology. Why don't you get with the future? There's a lot of old technology that's worth holding on to. And before you knock it, you've got to try it. Don't just assume because it's old that it's not as good. When was the last time you got 30 years out of a lawnmower? And chances are you're looking at another 30. So I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.